Shalom, family. Abba Yah knows what we're going through. He knows exactly where we are. He knows, you know, everything that's going on. He's never in the dark. You know, we, we have to pray and cry out to the Most High and, uh, you know, seek Him, seek His face, you know, so that we can know <laughs> because we're the ones that don't know, you know. So we seek Him so that we can have um, understanding or so that we can have peace so that we can, you know, be able to rest, you know, um, and come to a place where we know the thing that we need to know. So we don't always need to know the answer. We don't always need to know what's going on. We just need to know whatever that peace is that we need to know to come to a place of peace, right? That aspect, that, that, that thing that the Most High gives us, you know, sometimes we need to learn an aspect of his character. And that's what we need to come to know. You know, we may need to learn what it is to rest. We may need to learn what it is to have peace that surpasses understanding when we don't have understanding, but we have peace. You know, we may need to know that all things work together for the good of those who love the most high and understand that that's not always going to feel good for us. We may be going through something personally or, or part of a circumstance that for us, it, it causes us to have to press and to really rely on the strength and the, the peace and the, you know, whatever the most high gives us to be able to overcome that situation. But the same situation may be working out for the salvation of someone else's soul. The same situation may be literally saving somebody else's life, but we may be involved in that situation. And for us, it may have caused us great uh, distress that the most high has to deliver us from and to walk us through, you know, but in, in that walking through and overcoming the most high is working attributes within us. So it's working out for our good, you know, so the working out for our good doesn't always look the same. You know, we, we, we have to, we have to, uh, discover what good is, you know, the most high has to teach us what, what does good look like in this situation? You know, what is your good that I'm that I'm that I need to be able to see and perceive so that I can uh rest in that goodness, right? Because he's always working something out for our good. There's always something that is goodness that he is able to he's a redeemer. So he he can redeem everything, even things that don't look redeemable to us. When we rest in and rely on him, he's able to redeem situations because he's if we love him, he's working all things out for our good. So we have to say, Abba, Yah, help us, help me to find the goodness. Where is the good? <laughs> Show me where the good is because from the perspective that I'm looking from and the way that I'm seeing it, the, the way that I'm looking at it, the lens I'm looking through, I'm not perceiving the good. And you said that all things are working out for my good. So help me to help me. You ever, you ever been looking for something and you just can't find the right angle to be able to see it. But if you stand in the right place, <laughs> it's like, oh, there it is. You know, I can see it now. You know, so help me to see through the right lens to see the good that you're working out for me, right? And that's how we have to seek him in situations where, when we can't see the good. That's why we have, we have to cry out. We have to pray. We have to seek his face, you know, to be able to hear his voice and to uh, get to... Um, where we need to be. Um, so that starts off with trusting that he knows. We have to trust that he knows and trust that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, you know, and trust that he's working all things out for our good, you know. So once we realize that, he, that okay, he knows even this, you know, we, we, we can humble ourselves to position ourselves to to for him to bring us into a place where we too can know, <laughs> you know, because he doesn't want us to be in the dark. He gives us light, which is understanding. He doesn't want us to be in the dark. He wants us to know, right? So that's why we seek him and, and he brings us to that place where we can finally uh, embrace the peace that he has for us, the peace that the world can't give to us, right? And that the world can't take away from us, right? So praise God. I pray that he bring us into 
our place of peace and our place of understanding and our place where we can see and know uh, the way that he sees and knows. And we trust him and give him all the praise, honor, and glory that he is worthy of. Hallelujah. Shalom. Shalom. Blessings to you, family.